Next is from Easton Axwood. The subject is, subject is super fan. The latest WWE Network special has gotten everyone talking was about that guy Vladimir. I've seen the documentary and it's heartbreaking stuff. The stuff about about mom literally had had me uh, getting teary eyed. But really, this documentary made the guy seem like he had a screw loose. I mean, the scene had him literally having a conversation in pre recorded video messages. Uh, my question is, do you think the guy being celebrated like this is just going to encourage other total marks and now try to make themselves stand out in the crowd in the case of, in their marky minds, them getting their own network special? I mean, the Royal Rumble has basically become an annual event of marks filming themselves during the entrances so they can react naturally to whatever surprises WWE, whatever surprises WWE has to offer instead of, you know, just enjoying the show. Does K100 think this documentary will just encourage marks to, to up their markiness? Uh, possibly, you know. I don't know. What's it go? You know what's funny? They're, yeah, because they're, they're going to want to have a documentary too, huh? Speaking of stories, this is a horrible story. Um, right. Did you watch the Breeders' Cup race this weekend? The, any of the horse races? No. Okay, so no, one of the told races. Me your friend's horse was in it. Right. And also, there was this kid. How did he was a He was a make-a-wish yeah. kid. His name was Cody, right? And it was right. the kid's like all messed up and he's in a wheelchair. And he's like, you know, all like these epilepsy or whatever right um and they would show the kid he would be like biting his fingers you know having his fingers in his mouth and stuff but he was messed up well there was a horse named cody's wish okay and it was like and, and the horse won mm -hmm. right so it was a big story they like really played the story up you know they showed him in the the winner's circle afterwards and everything bro like 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 a day later the kid died it was like hard. It's like really? what? I was, I was like, read it. Like they had, they had a medical uh, the incident and stuff like that. And like, yeah, you know, on their way home. Story and like, yeah, on the yeah. on the way home, and the kid died. Right. I was like, wow. I, you know, <laughs> I, like, I read that. I was like, wait a second. This kid, like, I just saw this this story yesterday. Yeah. Like the kid, like the the, the kid. That's it was horrible. So, um, but back to this topic. Uh, the uh, um. Yeah, Mark, fans might try to do this to make themselves famous, but a lot of the fans these days are because like <clears throat> like this day and age, a lot of fans are like very overweight and they look like, you know, they, they look like neckbeards and stuff. Thing. They don't really like being seen on TV. Have you noticed that? They don't like that crazy like the other fans. That's a good fans point. There's a lot the of guys. So there's, a, there's a Yeah, there's a lot of guys you don't see in public, you know? Right. And – and it's kind of funny because if you notice, and this is not a diss in any way, but if you notice, a lot of wrestling fans are like on the spectrum. Like they're either or something's or socially, socially awkward, awkward or, right, right. you know what I'm saying? Or they pop really fast. <laughs> yeah. And so, right. and like, it's weird for us, I think, disco, because we didn't grow up with that type of people right. you know what i'm saying yeah they didn't, didn't have the, it, it's almost <laughs> yeah i just think that I'll, i i just we've oh, we've discussed sorry. this before yeah sorry but we discussed this before but i just think it's giving kids medication really early in their in their you know what i'm saying right uh, plus to the but the, bro, there were shows back in the day guys would be giving each other the, the luke or torture rack in the stands you know <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. But yeah yeah funny stuff yeah, yeah. Well, yeah uh, but bro you don't need a duck you don't need a documentary for them to do more. Everybody wants to be noticed. Everybody wants to be a star. Everybody wants to be talked about, followed. It's this generation and the previous generation. They're all into that. Right. <clears throat> yeah, it's gotten to the point where AEW, you remember when they started and they still do, they offer what's called a sensory inclusive bag for these kids. And it's like, you know, earplugs and, or you can go to the special room to be away from the fans because it's too loud. Yeah, they, they do that now. So. So why are you yeah. going to a wrestling show in the first place? If it's going to be loud, there's going to be a lot of lights. So why are you going there? Right. So you can yeah, be man. stuck in a room with other sentry guys. I don't know what, you know. <laughs> Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!